Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies on Whiskey Wednesday. We're going to be talking about the Kentucky Derby Woodford Reserve Edition. Very good. Thank you. It's basically these stripes which look like who's suit? Gronk's. Uh, oh, Gronkowski's suit. The Gronk if anybody, suit. I'm not going to put it up here because yeah. I don't know if it breaks any kind of... I noticed the bottle was looking a little deflated. First of all, I enjoy this. I drank a lot of it. Bruno has not had as much, but apparently this, what is this style called in the suit? Because Gronk's suit has know. all this stuff on it. Checkers, a checkered suit. All right, now. Well, and it's, is that similar to like what the uh, jockeys wear? Yes, like that is totally exactly what it is. So this is uh, just the regular Woodford Reserve, but they, every year they put out a, a special Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky, Kentucky Derby. Derby. And this is Kentucky Derby one. We're on our second. We're on our second take of the video here because he kept messing up. Yeah, Kentucky. I kept saying Kentucky, Kentucky Derby, and we haven't even had that much. Uh, is this a this is a uh, Kentucky straight bourbon? Probably it is. And I should say we're coming from my unfinished basement. Someday this is going to be a finished whiskey bar. Is that too much? That's right. Yeah, we didn't even address that. Well, they've seen, You've seen it. Yeah, they've yep. seen it because this is the third time. This is the last time we'll be down here, at least for a while, or until it's done. Well, maybe in maybe like once you get the bar roughed in, we can shoot again in, right. in various stages. Right. One thing that's cool down here address. is I intentionally built it with lighting in mind, so it's a lot easier for setup and takedown. So we can fit. You built it or it's, with it's in a mind. Studio to kind of have lighting ready to help with our videos. Yes. And so, then you get to claim it on your taxes. Bingo. Who needs to win the Kentucky Derby as long as you can claim it on taxes? <laughs> Am I where we were? Chap, I lost my notes. <laughs> All right. uh, Woodford Reserve Kentucky Derby Edition on the nose. I get, man, you can tell yes. this is a bourbon. Yeah, it's a sweet. I get okay. just a little bit, I get the fingernail polish, I get okay. uh, caramel, yeah, caramel, I get, caramel, and vanilla. Fingernail polish with cotton candy is the mixture I get. Mm. It's that sweet, sweet sponge sugar, like you're standing right at the machine when that thing's whipping around and you're just taking that little dowel. And moving See, I don't around. get that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I just love it. I tell you, it takes me... Oddly enough, it's a bourbon that takes me back to my youth. All right, but yeah, I do get a little bit, a little bit of that acetones in there. I gotta tell you, I love this Kentucky Derby deal where they put the little design on there. I love the history. Um, they're always putting out a bottle with a special label on it. So now, is the bottle would it be worth more if it was unopened? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's worth more. It's a unique bottle in terms Should of... Should you flavor. not have opened it? No, no. You're not dealing with anything that's that limited. The only thing they told me at the liquor store is, hey, we only got two left with the packaging. And I actually thought it looked real nice as a unique deal for the show. Mm -hmm. So that's why yep. I picked it up. Um, on the taste. Love this. I get a spiciness. Uh, do you get a coconut? No. Okay, I remember the last time, I don't remember which, I think it was a bourbon. I referenced a coconut and I got it here as well. Hmm. And I love it and that's why this was disappearing. I had to send this off with him before it went away because it was a very nice casual sit down, put on a show, it's a hard day at work, I want to sip some bourbon. This is this is the intro Woodford Reserve, right? So it what's is. our price on it, 30? Yeah, it was, this might have been yeah, like 35, I think. Because I went in and said, hey, we're working into bourbons. I'm fairly new to bourbons, and I want to get a Woodford. And he said, hey, you know what? They got their Kentucky Derby limited release bottle out. And boom, yeah. Now, I will admit, I know we had a guy on our comments talking about saving bottles. I'll save mm -hmm. this bottle just because it's, it's cool and unique. The other thing I want to say real quick before we come back to this, Please, please put your, your put your tasting notes in our comments. We're getting some phenomenal tasting notes. If you want to. We can't make you. Well, I'm not holding a riding crop <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> gonna hit you with it, you know, if, if you don't put them on there. But please, I mean, I've been very impressed with the tasting notes that are coming up on the comments. Mm -hmm. So please, yeah, we've been having please a lot come in. 
And, and we didn't reference it, but Whiskey Wednesday, America's Whiskey Wednesday, is all about doing American and Canadian whiskeys. North American. Yes, whiskeys. although I have been trying to source some Mexican. I'm trying to source Mexican whiskey, just so you know. Hmm. Anybody knows exactly where or when? I keep getting pointed to tequilas. No. Oh, we could do that. I no, no, no. Oh, if you've had whiskey. some good, yeah, but if you've had some good sipping tequila, mm. we can branch out. Uh, anyway, uh, vanilla, oak, and cinnamon. Mm. I get mm. definitely a lot of oak. Yeah, I get a. Um, I, I I put down. It's funny. I put down a slight woodiness. And then I'm getting my favorite kind of sugary sweet, which is brown sugar. I get that diluted brown sugar that I used to get when I was a kid. My grandfather would make some of the best oatmeal. And I don't know how you make best oatmeal, but he made best oatmeal and he would put in chunks of, you know when you leave your brown sugar out and it hardens up and you get the little mm, rocks in clumps. it? Yeah, he would put these dried clumps and you'd be like how many clumps you want almost like sugar cubes and i'd say two grandpa or whatever he'd put them right in there and they would take a while to kind of melt down in the so your grandpa had old stale sugar <laughs> and you liked it he thought that was pretty apparently good. he got rid of his old stale brown sugar on me and i loved it i got a memory on grandpa for that so now we'll bring up i brought this up to bart before i was gonna i should have mentioned it in last week's episode but on wednesdays now we are we're the scotch test dummies but on Wednesdays, we're the whiskey tasting fellows, the WTFs. <laughs> so on the weekends, we're the STDs, and on the weeknights, Wednesdays, we're the WTFs, whiskey tasting fellows. That's dirty. That's another I like it. We gotta order some more glasses now. Oh, yeah, now we'll have the whiskey tasting fellows. <laughs> Go to scotchtestnummies.com and get your own Glen Cairn. True, everybody's gonna be confused. Are we the WTFs or the STDs? <laughs> So, all right, <laughs> Scotch test. Oh, wait, no, you're scoring. Ooh, yeah, you're scoring. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm really liking this bourbon. Um, I'm putting it at 89. Hmm. I think you're wrong on that score. <laughs> That's my score. All right. Um, I'm just giving it an 85. Score. Is this yeah. a hypothetical? Nope, this is a score. I'll tell you, it's just, um, it's a bourbon. It's, there's... It's okay, it's good. Grandpa's oatmeal brown sugar is what brought this up to 89 for me. And that hint of coconut. Grandpa's old stale brown sugar. It wasn't stale. <laughs> it was just clumped. What they but say, once you go brown coconut. sugar, you never go white sugar. I, that's like a direct quote. <laughs> 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 Whiskey. You scotch gods. Salancha. <laughs> Dummies. <laughs> Dummies. Boom, we got Woodford Reserve. The Kentucky. 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 The Kentucky Derby the side. Kentucky Turbot. It's the Kentucky Derby. Moan hay. Turbot. It's like moan hay out here. Yeah. Fresh, Smell out fresh moan hay. You want to walk out there and you got fresh moan hay. Fresh moan hay. This is Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky Derby. Kentucky. Kentucky. Edition. <laughs> 